Aston Martin is set to run its Formula 1 cars in its British Racing Green color scheme when it returns to the grid in 2021. Let's get started. The Silverstone-based outfit has raced in a predominantly pink livery design since BWT arrived as its title sponsor in 2017. But upon its rebrand to Aston Martin next year, the team is expected to adopt the British manufacturer's traditional racing colors. Speaking in Thursday's FIA press conference in Sochi, ahead of this weekend's Russian Grand Prix, Lance Stroll revealed that the new Aston Martin F1 team project is set to run its cars in British Racing Green. Aston Martin's cars have raced in the green livery across all categories of motorsport it has entered, including its brief spell in F1 between 1959 and 1960. The livery design for 2021 is expected to incorporate the bright pink colors of BWT, which will remain a sponsor of the team next year despite the rebrand. Fernando Alonso's return to the Formula 1 cockpit with Renault could be during a filming day or even a 2018 car, reckons team boss Cyril Beatbull. With this Spaniard having expressed an eagerness to get driving again ahead of his racing comeback in 2021, Renault has been evaluating what options it has to test him. Fernando Alonso says he is available to assist Renault with anything they need on Formula 1 race weekends this year as he steps up preparations for his 2021 return. Alonso is also planning some further running in the simulator and is hopeful of attending a couple of races on site to get used to the team's operations. Aridbo thinks the most likely first step would be to get him out in a two-year-old car as restrictions on running 2018 machinery are not so strict. Mattia Binotto is looking to Carlos Sainz to join fellow driver Charles Leclerc in being part of a long cycle in the Ferrari team. In a chain reaction of F1 driver switches for 2021, announced before the season had even begun, Ferrari confirmed Sainz will take the place of Sebastian Vettel. The Spaniard has signed a two-year contract with the Scuderia, while Leclerc is tied down until 2024, and obviously, how long Sainz stays will depend on his own performances and those of the team. Team principal Binotto has already revealed that both drivers will be based close to Ferrari headquarters at Maranello in order to have the required input into the development of the car. Binotto is not looking short term as he wants Leclerc and Sainz to create solid foundations that will help the Italian giants build a project that takes them back towards the front of the F1 pack following this season's struggles. Anyways, now it's time for meme of the day and here it is. I'll just read it to you dear Mr. Clarkson. You're gonna love this. I'm writing to you on behalf of the world famous Madame to Swords. Oh, oh they're God. not going to. Yes, they are. Are you joking? Yes, oh, they are. Oh no, why? They say they. I have been highly requested, highly requested to be immortalised in wax. <laughs> are you sure that doesn't say immersed in wax? <laughs> no, immortalised in wax. How are they going to immortalise you in wax? Where are they going to get all the wax? <laughs> to melt down everything else in Madame Two Swords to make one massive hideous wax dummy <laughs> of a hideous dummy. Then it's easy. They just get a very big candle, they light it, let it drip down the edges for a couple of hours and then just draw a face on it with a felt tip. <laughs> that would look a bit like it. And what are they going to do with it when they've got it? Imagine children. We go to Madame Two Swords, we go to... What is it? Ah! <laughs> it's going to be the, the first waxworks in history to be sculpted with a pickaxe. Yes, and a hammer. And that's been it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Apart from that, I hope you're an awesome day and um, bye bye.